welcome back to the royal kingdom estates platform i hope you guys are doing wonderful as we are today as you can see this is another site video where exactly are we this time this is the view at bokobi hills and today we're going to be doing a lot we're going to be touring and i have these two wonderful couple married couple with me this is nadia this is matthias and they came in from germany they had the wonderful news of royal kingdom estate and today they are going to you know see the view see the plots we're gonna have conversations listen to their journey and so sir how are you i'm doing very well mm -hmm. uh, good morning is it good morning how do good you say morning. Morning. good morning <laughs> <laughs> okay so um they actually here they are potential clients yeah. they would want to uh get a plot for themselves and then build quickly yeah so we have taken them around they are going to share their experiences yeah. but let me be quick to add today is nadia's birthday Woo! Happy birthday, Happy Nadia. Birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday to Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And I understand Matthias had his on Saturday. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. So happy <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, um, what I would say is that having gone round, what are your experiences? What have you seen so far? Uh, your journey from Germany to Ghana, uh, meeting Rock in the state. We spoke on Zoom and here we are. What have here been your experiences? Are. Here we are. It has been a journey indeed. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the experience so far has been really nice, mm -hmm. really nice. Um, we just came today with Desmond and he showed us around um, because I was asking for still available plots. Right. And he showed us around. Uh, we went over there to see mm -hmm. uh, the neighbor yeah. who is currently building also. Had nice conversation with him. And uh, yeah, I'm not complaining so far. <laughs> that's, no complaints. That's, 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 that's like the perfect news. So guys, if you've been on the channel, you will remember that we've already been to the view just scroll down you see a video where we took you to when that building started when the workers were on site when you know they started everything we had in-depth conversations and chief desmond you know explained to us what the property was about how it's going to go and everything so if you haven't seen that video please go check it out i'm really glad it's going to be your neighbor and you've already started having a very nice relationship with them but i really want to find out uh, chief desmond did mention that you spoke in on zoom and everything but how did you first come to hear of royal kingdom estate uh yeah well we were thinking of um possibly relocation okay. uh, relocating back to ghana um and we were looking okay. for uh, land, <laughs> but in Germany we didn't have much contact, so we went on YouTube, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this, uh, I was searching for developers, and uh, that's how I came across your channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so and we here we are. There. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> and then I contacted. I think I Dania contacted. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just making conversation, and um, we set up a Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. Uh, Desmond was also in the meeting yeah and then I said you know what I think we have to go there and see see for and yourself see for exactly. ourselves so and talk to these people that's and the purpose of this trip exactly that's wonderful. so let me yeah, ask Matthias Matthias how has been your experience what has been how do you see the view because I saw you your cameras have been going round yeah, round round yeah. definitely I mean the view is amazing uh, obviously I don't know if you can catch it on camera actually when we were watching the videos it was great but this is much greater yeah. I mean you really have to have to sit with your original yeah. eyes and um, yeah, apart from that, the experience is good so far. Um, we were taken here uh, with you, with your team. So yeah, that's very let's pleasant. See how it's gonna be. Yeah, that's <laughs> so exciting. so so what's going to happen is that uh, perhaps you may not know she was mentioning something. The project that we spoke about mm -hmm. it has uh, gone a bit further. We will go and show you all those ones, the new ones that have started and all. And there is one thing I need to emphasize: Royal Kingdom Estate uh, plots is litigation free one. Mm -hmm. There are no land guards yes. mm -hmm. and we are with you every step of the way. Mm -hmm. Number two, because of the processes of obtaining permits, we have been able to have an arrangement with the powers that be. Start your project. In fact, today, if tomorrow you want to start building, mm -hmm. go and start building. We are going to help you have your documentation. Yeah. Uh, registered if you want us to help you mm -hmm. if you would want us to get your permit for you we are going to do it for you if you want us to design for you we are going to do it for you if you want us to build for you you're going to build for you it's a one-stop shop we have everything and we want you to feel comfortable you were telling me something over there it, whilst we're driving here that you want to be in ghana before you build you can mm -hmm. build whilst you are yes. there so this is what we do mm -hmm. we start the process even with the architecture yeah. you are in a group 
every step of the way. We will not just wake up and bring you. You can tell us, okay, I've seen this picture here, this mm -hmm. building here, bring it together. Then you tell us your concept. Every time we do it, we are able to come up and then explain to you, this is where the bedroom is going to be. We believe this is how it's supposed to be. You also come up with your own concepts. We put it together. So you are with us. Yeah. When we start the process or the building stage itself, every stage we have videos for you. So you know what stage we are at. Okay. You have the videos. Oh, we, we, exactly. So yeah. you're not here, but you are overseeing to your project. It is not, I know in time past, somebody will tell you, I've gone to your land and go, go and show somebody's building. <laughs> Over here, Nadia and Matthias are here. You're choosing your own plot. Yeah. And you can do virtual, use virtual means. So we come to sites, we can call on uh, uh, any of the medias, uh, any of the channels that, that you know of. It can yeah. be WhatsApp, it can be Telegram, it can be Instagram, Instagram whatever. And then we call, you are in your home and you are seeing what is happening. Mm -hmm. Yes. So everything, in fact, this is, these are the things that we do mm -hmm. to ensure that we bring it to your home. Yeah. You can build in Germany whilst you're in Ghana. You can equally build in Ghana whilst you're in Ghana. Okay. Yes. You have options with Royal Kingdom yeah. Estate. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, right. so what so is going to happen is that um, I think we are going to go down. Okay. They want to see other plots so that they can make their choice. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we'll go back there and then okay. we'll shoot more. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'm actually very glad that you were able to take the time and come here and have this experience for yourself because one thing that we're trying to achieve at Royal Kingdom Estate, the vision is very, very broad. We are emphasizing on the fact that we want to build not just communities but cities for diasporas, right? For you to be able to come here, acquire homes, relocate, have the safety, the peace of mind that mm. you want. So it's not just lands and properties that we're giving you, we're selling you all of this. It's an experience. A experience. experience and a community exactly yeah can you, a community to belong to mm -hmm. to have people that you can relate to to have access to you know good good opportunities you understand definitely yes 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 yes, yes. so i'm really really glad that you are able to be here today and then just have this for yourself yeah yeah and guys please there are still lands available at the view so if you love what you're seeing, mm. if, you're, if you love the experiences you're hearing and you want to be a part of this community or this city, please, you know what to do. Just contact us on all our platforms, all our outlets, and we will reach out to you. We will give you all the necessary information you need. Chief Desmond will run you through all the processes to help you get your dream property. It's really, really that simple for you to get what you want and we are here to offer these services to you we also do offer construction services absolutely chief desmond is the head of that if you get your land and you want us to be in charge of the construction for you 100 percent we can do that we can help you with the design process just like you mentioned mm -hmm. we can uh, offer you advice do this do that every time he is in charge of that he's always here to check that things are right things are properly done because we don't like to start uh you know construction and then something happens this goes mm. no the peace of mind is very, very important. Very, well. So very we are necessary. always here to check. The checks are very important. Mm. So if you want us to do your construction, yeah, we're here 100%. Mm -hmm. We have clients that have entrusted us with this and we're doing, you know, their construction from, for them from A to Z. That's what you call a 10P. Absolutely. Right? We Thank start, you. we finish. We hand you, this is your house. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So you have a lot of options with us. Do not be scared to come to us. We're always available, always, always to see you through. And also one other thing, we offer off-plan investments, right? There's so much happening. This is only the view. I don't know if, you, if you've been able to visit all our other sites. No. Not yes. yet. Yeah. We will take you all around. We have Grey City. We have uh, Phase 1, 2, 3. We have Black Star Village. So much yeah, is happening. And very mm. soon, we will be expanding. best in terms of um, security so let's say i think this this might be the last plot before the fence wall comes huh? or is there another no no, no. we have we have we have yeah. more plots going down there yeah, more 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 okay yes. so then we are protected yes, yes. <laughs> yeah you're but not you see, the last again, there's a lot of 
So let me say this. Mm. In Greater Accra, we normally have those issues. Around these areas, there is less activity with theft. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If we were to have those things, you will not be able to... Somebody will not... We have places in, a, in, a, in Accra that you cannot even leave your gate like this and yes. go and sleep. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just come and take your gate away. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We don't have those things within yeah. these areas. That's mm. number one. Number two, once the security fence wall is put up, we are going to have securities all around it. Mm. There's going to be cameras because the security yes. post is supposed to manage mm. the entire community. Mm. So okay. there are various, that's why I said that though we are not doing service plots, we are with you every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And our main focus is to ensure that our clients enjoy their peace of mind. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what we are selling, peace of mind. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But Chief, for somebody watching that doesn't have um, a lot of ideas on the service and then non-service plots, what's the difference between a service and a service <clears throat> Okay, so a service plot is where you are building the U drains, the sidewalks, the so you charge them okay. for everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the client doesn't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. But the semi-service is where we demarcate ourselves, we show where the roads and everything is going to be, mm -hmm. and then we sell at that point. Okay. okay. Yes. So you see, in, in time past, somebody will, will take you to a forest, <clears throat> and they'll go like, you see that tree over there? <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's where your plot is. That's where. <laughs> we are not doing that. Yeah. We are grading. We are making sure that um, we are giving you an experience. Okay. So everything we are giving to you is pure and genuine. Okay. Then we all come together communally mm -hmm. to build our community. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's the, the, the difference. Wonderful. Yes. All right. So you are also familiar because you were mentioning earlier you were exposed to different different buildings techniques or different building styles. You know what? <laughs> I've been looking at these uh, Bali inspired houses. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you want to bring, bring, bring Greece? Greece. Yes, right please. <laughs> <laughs> so can can you can you guys do that as well? Or yeah, because, I mean, that, yeah. yeah, do you have experience with foreign building techniques? All right, so we, we, we have all that. <clears throat> and um, one of the things people need to know is that um, building comes with climate. Yeah. So there are various demographics when it comes to building. Mm -hmm. So there are things you see happening in the US, cannot happen in Ghana. Yeah. Like I mentioned, you have chimneys there. They don't build ch the place is hot already. You don't need chimneys uh, over no, here. Yeah. You understand? There are cavity walls with uh, pipes running through them to be able to get the walls in the temperature to be able oh, to wow. heat you up. Mm. We don't need them yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So we, but we are familiar with mm. dry walls. We're familiar with various types of walls, what happens out there and here. In the tropics. Uh, right? yeah. yeah. And yeah. so where we have to advise, we advise. Okay. Yeah. There is sometimes too a mixed breed. Mm -hmm. If you want to do a mixed breed, others will want to build the skeletal and then, and then internally mm -hmm. they use the, the, the dry walls. It's accepted. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 So basically the design is not going to be a problem. Exactly. That's why we give you the option yeah. to be able to design yourself. So yeah. if you bring the design and it works with the you know conditions here, yeah. Yeah. then definitely. And what is available here also. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, just, because it's not the same yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you have options. What okay. works, we can advise you yeah. to you yeah. know, okay. get exactly what you want because mm. that's what matters. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So, uh, like I was telling you earlier on, uh, here we are. This is a client's project, and the client has his own team building it. But what we do, so like when you are in Germany, whether we are building or whoever is building, we still come to site to check on the building and then we are still able to advise. Mm -hmm. So we are here to advise on what they are doing here and we are giving them the various demographics and what they are going to do. Mm -hmm. So you see this wall, for instance, there's supposed to be a beam in between because it's too high. Uh, sure. we, we shouldn't have a wall this high mm -hmm. without a beam through it. Okay, so why? Why not? Because the reason is that, <clears throat> you see, like I always use the human body. Yeah. There's a reason why God created our waist line here. Mm -hmm. So we can be able to bend. Mm -hmm. So that's the same way with building. Now, when our weight, if you check your weight, anything heavier than your weight, you cannot carry it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the amount of material to go in here, if it is too much, uh, more than what we're having here, it will collapse. Mm -hmm. So it needs a beam in mm -hmm. here. The Support. beam will be able to hold the pillars at the ends. Mm -hmm. okay. 
to be able to hold the weight. Would that be concrete only or concrete. With iron rods? Concrete. Iron, with iron rods. Oh, okay. it's, it's supposed to be reinforced concrete. Mm -hmm. So we need a beam through here because the height is just too much. Mm. Yeah. So that it's able to sustain the load that's going to come at the back. Why didn't they do it? Well, that's why we are here to, oh. to, to correct it. Okay. So we are only, only explaining that these are the things that we do. Okay. We come, we check, we advise and then we are able to move so that the client does not waste so much money yes. in doing repair works. Yeah, okay. yes. So, so will they be able to fix it now? Yeah, so that's why we have to have to stop them from everything that, that they are doing. Mm. So we check and then we advise the client who is here, fortunately for us, you have met with the client, mm -hmm. so that yes. we are able to explain to them. And like we always say, the client is the highest decision-making body yeah. here. So we are explaining to them the various levels that we have especially with a, a size uh, a plot that slopes this way mm. so that they take their decisions on what they want to do but we'll be able to guard them mm. if they still want to go with the same stuff that we are doing here then this wall will have to we have to remove some of them put a beam through and then continue yes okay. yes so that's 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 what we do okay does the beam have to go for um just um high walls or does it have to go to everywhere that I see, you know, walls higher than maybe six levels? Your question is a broad question, <laughs> but I'll try to answer. <laughs> Beams are introduced, so beam is like your shoulder. Yeah. I can carry a cement here. Yeah. I can carry cement here. Yeah. When it is here, it goes through my spine, uh -huh. yeah. through my legs and gives it to the earth. Mm. When it is here also, I have to twist my hand in a way yeah. So that my spine is able to pick the load mm. and transmit Balance. it onto my legs. Mm. Yeah. So anywhere that we will have any shocks, okay. any heavy load, we need a beam there okay. to be able to tie to the pillars. Okay. Mm. So as I'm standing here now, if I do this, I always tell you, if I do this and it's hanging, I will need to have something to hold. Mm. Yeah. And you see my hand, the way it is, it locks here. Mm -hmm. So if my hand is holding something here like this, it will be able to sustain it. Yeah. But if there is nothing here, I cannot hold it. Mm. So if I if 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 you hold Hosby's uh, shoulder, mm -hmm. you can be able to hold it for a long while. But when you just do this for a long time, you cannot sustain yeah, yourself. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So we have we have uh, ground beams, okay. we have connecting beams, okay. we have uh, 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 secret beams. Mm -hmm. There are various beams okay. that we have. Okay. But it All depends right. on what you are doing and what. And over here, we need a tie beam. A tie beam. A tie beam, okay. yes. Okay. I see. All right. So while we are standing, the, the foundation is done, huh? Yeah, the foundation. It's done. The foundation is done. These are okay. the footings. Mm -hmm. Yes, but because of the nature of, 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 of land, there are a few things they need to do because um, per what I've gotten from the builder, this is one level. That's another level they are looking at. Uh, but again, if they have to still maintain the same design, mm. then we have to look at few things that they have to do. That is to ensure that the walls are sustainable, to be able to take the backfill that you are going to do, the hardcore field. We need to be able to teach on all those things. Okay. Okay. Is this a plot that they are building on? Yes, they have two plots, but he's building on one plot. That's the other plot at the back there. Okay, okay so this is, this all of this is one plot? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. See, it's huge. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge house. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually 0 0.16 of an acre. Okay. 70 by 100. 70 by 100. Mm. Yes. All our plots are 70 by 100. Exactly. So sometimes, so I normally use the 0 0.16. It may not be exactly 70 by 100. Sometimes okay. the shape may not be uh, the same rectangle that you are looking at. Right. However, it will be able to give you, it should be able to give you a 0 0.16 of an acre. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's lovely. Yeah. What's he building? Well, he's building a five bedroom. Ooh. Yes. Nice. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> and so now you, you told us before that when you buy a build on a slope, what you do is you probably take some of the earth from the upper level, shove it over to the other side. Yes. Is this what happened here? To make it no, even. that's not what they are doing. That's no? why that's why the, the, the client called me. I see. Okay. That I should come in mm -hmm. and then advise on what they're supposed to do. Uh, okay. And if I were here from the very beginning, this is not how it's, it's going to go. Uh. I've explained to them, but okay. you know, uh, there's always a price to pay. Mm. If I were here on time, I would have been able to. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Wow. <laughs> And is there, especially with all the nice breeze coming up here, mm, is there nice. any ways to, you feel it? to yes. harness the wind, like architecturally, like, you know, building in a way that you have that the best have breeze through your house? Cross ventilation, they call it. Well, there's, there, there are several stuff which are happening now. 
uh, with ventilation, people are now going for very huge windows mm -hmm. ah, yeah. mm -hmm. so that they are able to have more vents in, mm -hmm. in their rooms. Yes. And others are also not going for the traditional uh, glaze that we now have various casements yeah. when it comes to the windows yes. and the doors. Yeah. Yeah. So there are various ways that you can be able to harness so that you're able to have more okay. vents in your room. Mm -hmm. And all those things, we do it for our clients. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We advise, we'll take you through every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And though you have your own plans, we will still be able to advise. If you don't like it, we'll still let you know. Well, we have advised you, you have still gone for this, mm -hmm. so that you'll be able to own it. Yes. So that tomorrow you don't come back and blame us for <laughs> taking a bad decision. Okay. I have one important question actually. I can see those um, yeah, those huts where people store their material and so on for security. I've heard that in other places, sometimes they have issues with people coming in, robbing, stealing something at night. So it's a rather remote area here. I assume there's not any issues with this or do you have any chance of safeguarding that things are not getting stolen apart from... Because these ones you can break into, right? I mean, Let me ask a question. Please, as you're working here, has somebody broken into your, your uh, storehouse? No, no, no. Nobody? No. The place is safe? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> Good to hear. Yeah. yeah. The place That's is safe. Yeah. Exactly. It's safe. It's only darkness. darkness. <laughs> <laughs> no light. <laughs> 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 oh, and Chief, uh, one more thing. I think a client was engaging me recently and they were very concerned about. Um, you know the trees so their question was that we're cutting down trees to you know build these properties is there um you know uh something that maybe in the future after the community is built mm -hmm. or is done will we replant some of the trees to, you know let me correct an assertion in your question okay if any client says that we have fallen down trees okay. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't done that. I don't want okay. to say the client is lying, okay. but we haven't done that. Okay. So please, these are trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's another one. All these trees, yes. they were all here during the grading process. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have not touched any of them. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. So we don't touch any trees. Mm -hmm. We only go for the greens. Okay, okay, okay. The grass, that's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Again, so it is part of every homeowner mm -hmm to build at least four trees in their house. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Nice. And it has to be uh, any any trees any or tree. local trees? Because any trees that there are, there are some clients who want to do fruits. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to have fruit gardens yes. in there. Yeah. Yeah. Others also want to have uh, any of those ornamental trees yes, me. whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We are free <laughs> to do that. But the point is, we are not cutting down any, any trees. trees. In fact, when we got here, Matthias told me, I love the trees. I hope they're not going down. I told Matthias, people are building. If we were to do that, we'd have done that long ago. Yeah. Mm, yeah. True. So, if you like what you see, and if you like the dream, you want to be a part of, you want to share it, you can come on board. Off Plan will sell you the vision, and then in the future, you get access to everything that you need. Did I, did I say Thank that? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so let me also end by saying, mm -hmm. no litigation. No litigation. None. No land guards. No, no land guards. <laughs> you are not paying digging fees. No, no digging fees. <laughs> <laughs> you see how quiet the place is? <laughs> you can build without a permit yet, yes. but we assure you, you will need a permit. Yes. So we are also going to help you get your permit. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys.